In today's coaster review, I am talking about Sky Rush at Hershey Park, an intimate hyper coaster that delivers one heck of a ride. Yes, I am a big fan of this roller coaster, but let's get into some of those details. I'm going to go through one by one each of the elements of this coaster, talk about the ride experience, and give my full opinions on it. And at the end, I will give it a final score. So first things first, man is this coaster intense. This is a crazy ride. It may not be that long, it's only about a minute long, but this thing is a powerhouse. It has great airtime, lots of sweet bank turns. This ride delivers a huge adrenaline rush. My personal favorite roller coaster at Hershey Park. There isn't much of a theme to it. I guess you could say the theme is that it takes you up into the sky like in the clouds, but really I wouldn't even consider that a theme. As far as I'm concerned, this coaster doesn't have a theme. But it's amazing how they're able to fit this coaster into that plot of land. Not where it does most of the action, but I'm talking the station and lift hill. That is a very small amount of space, but they managed to fit it around Comet, which is super impressive. Now, unfortunately, because of that tight space that they had to work with, the station is a little bit odd. Normally with roller coasters, you get on one side and exit the other. This you enter and exit on the same side because there is nothing on the other side. It is just a wall because if there wasn't a wall, you'd be right onto Comet. So the station is a little funky, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's just kind of a hassle when people are loading and unloading. Everyone just kind of blends together. But the other thing that I thought was kind of weird was that Hershey Park had some of the seats roped off. If you look at some of this footage, a bunch of the seats are not available. And I still to this day have no idea why. I don't know if they do this all the time, but it was kind of irritating when you're planning on sitting with people in your party because you have to plan accordingly to which seats you can actually sit in. And then the other thing to think about is that they have a regular queue for where you wait in for any row except for front row. And then front row has its own queue which is oftentimes just as long as the regular queue, which that becomes a problem when sometimes they aren't even having four people per the front row and only two seats are open. I waited probably a good 30 to 40 minutes for the front row when the regular line was probably only 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone should experience the front row, but you're gonna be waiting a lot longer. Well, let's talk about the ride experience. So you climb into your row, you have the choice of a middle seat or a wing seat. The wing seat does not have a floor and you are on the edge of the track. You're also a bit lower than the person next to you. And I would definitely recommend trying a middle seat and an edge seat. I think they provide slightly different ride experiences. I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite, but you're gonna pull out of that station. You start off slow and then the motor kicks in and boom, you just start accelerating up this lift hill insanely fast. Faster than Intimidator 305, faster than Millennium Force. This is probably one of the fastest lift hills I have ever seen. So you're gonna crest over and drop down 212 feet at an 85 degree angle hitting 75 miles an hour. And wow, what a drop. Now something you're gonna notice is that once you go over that drop, your restraint is gonna tighten. And this is the part of the experience that no one likes. Who's a fan of the restraints? I don't think I've heard anyone that is a fan of Skyrush's restraints. It would seem like a good idea, but this thing is a major thigh crusher. It seems like what happens is as soon as you go over that drop, the restraints just come down to the furthest point that they can, and they don't let up until you're on the brake run. But here's what I'll say. I didn't think it was that bad during the ride experience. It only really sucks when you're sitting on the brakes. And really, I would say that the restraints is the only downside to this roller coaster. Other than that, I think it's fantastic. After that drop, you go into this huge ejector airtime hill, a sweeping bank turn into another hill. You got some high bank turns, you stay low to the ground, you're over water. It is so cool, and a night ride on this thing is wicked. And while it is a little bit short, I don't think it's that big of a deal. In my opinion, what happens is I get off and say, that was crazy, I want to experience it again, so I'm going to hop back in line. Now, some people will say that this coaster does have a bit of a rattle to it, and I don't think it has a rattle, but I do think it does have a bit of a shakiness to it. And it's not anything that I would say is such a big deal. It's slightly noticeable, maybe a little irritating, but it's not that big of a deal, guys. I wouldn't be concerned about it. For the most part, Skyrush is smooth. So let's give Skyrush a final score. I'm giving this coaster a 9, and the reason why I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the restraints. 
Maybe not a huge deal to me, but definitely really bothers some people. I think also, the larger you are, the more irritating it's going to be. I'm a pretty skinny dude, so maybe that's why it didn't really bother me. But if you're a bit bigger, you'll probably find it more irritating. So yes, I do love this roller coaster. I think it is crazy intense, one of the best rides out there. But if Hershey Park ever changes out their restraints and makes them more comfortable, then I will give it a 10. But I will say concerning the restraints is that even though they come down pretty far digging into your legs, you still can get some really cool airtime. The ejector air on this ride is sweet, and I've heard some people talk about theories for how to avoid a thigh crush so that it's not as sudden and more gradual, and I'm sure there's different ways around it, but if you're just an average rider, that's just something that I would be warned about. But talking about everything other than restraints, I think this coaster is incredible. Such a cool ride. And so I want to hear about your thoughts on Skyrush at Hershey Park. Post any of those thoughts and feelings you have in the comment section below. And of course, check out other reviews that I have on my channel. They're all available in a playlist in alphabetical order. So make sure to check those out, and I'll catch you guys next time.